For our finale this week, we're heading to the Adelaide Hills to take a look at an off-grid home that takes things to the next level. It only uses three kilowatt hours a day of energy. And not only does it supply all its own energy, the Earthship is made from recycled materials, including tires and beer bottles. It costs about $150,000 to build and has a tiny one kilowatt solar system plus eight usable kilowatt hours of lead acid battery and solar thermal hot water. It's truly sustainable because as I said, it uses less than three kilowatt hours of electricity per day. That means it can get away with a tiny affordable off-grid energy system. How does it use so little energy? Well, the thermal envelope of the house is outstanding, keeping it warm in winter and cool in summer using just the sun for heat, and to cool, it uses air piped from earth tubes buried deep underground. It's now available as an Airbnb, but don't expect to be able to stay there anytime soon. It's entirely booked out for the next year. It seems like living sustainably and comfortably is really popular. Well, that's the episode for the month, all about off-grid living. What have we learned? That you can take whole islands off the grid, you can take whole communities off the grid, you can live in the lap of luxury off-grid if you're willing to spend the money. And if you've got a beautifully designed small house, you can actually live off-grid quite affordably. But Ronald also let us know that if you do have a grid connection, please use it. It's better for your wallet and it's better for the environment. The grid is an amazing thing that we really should use to share that renewable energy where it's needed the most. So that was living off-grid. You've got everything you need to know when the zombie apocalypse comes, see you next time, if there is one. Brains.